Jonah mm -hmm. and threw him into the sea. Mm -hmm. And the sea ceased from its raging. Amen. He told him. Jonah already told him what to do. What to do. Amen. See, when a person tell you this is the right thing to do, throw me off. When you throw me off, the storm will cease. Yes. Amen. Get away from me. Mm -hmm. Because you don't want all this problem Amen. in your life. Amen. You, you, you don't want to go through all of this. Just go on and leave now. Because I'm the problem. I'm going to let you. When somebody say, hey, I, I need to get off around you. Mm -hmm. I need to let you go. And you study trying to make them be, you better go and let them go. Because they, they, they're trying to stop some storms from being in your life Amen. that you don't even have to experience. Yes, Amen. That you don't have to go through. But these men had enough sense to say, God didn't let us die. His God, Jonah's God, mm -hmm. Jonah's didn't let us die. God. Yes, Jonah's God. Jonah's God, we was crying out to our little G's and they weren't doing nothing. Mm -hmm. Our little idols, they weren't doing nothing. But Jonah, God didn't let us die while we out here on this sea and these storms is raging and, 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 and it looked like it's all over. But the storm keep on raging and, it, and the temperatures keep getting higher and higher. And the wind just blowing and blowing and the boat can't be still because the boat just rocking and rocking and rocking. But God just rocking us through the sea and rocking us. Don't you know that God will shake you and shake you and rock you until that thing oh, get right? Yes. Until you cry out to him, God will keep rocking the boat, keep rocking and keep rocking until you cry out to him, God. Yes, Lord. Help me, Lord. Help me, Lord. So when they picked him up On it is. and threw him into the sea, and the sea ceased from its raging. Oh, yes. That's the only time it's gonna stop. That's the only time it's gonna stop. When you deal with the problem. Amen. Yeah. When you throw the problem oh, off yes. the boat. When you get rid of the problems. Yes, yes, Lord. When you stop carrying the problems Hallelujah. and say, you know, they begin to check. See, they threw the cargoes off. They thought that was going that was gonna lift the load. Wrong stuff. See, that's the wrong stuff. Amen. You start, oh, let me stop doing this and let me stop doing that mm -hmm. and all that. But that ain't the problem. That ain't the problem. <laughs> the problem is still with you. <laughs> Amen. You ain't got rid of the problem yet. You just throw out some little cargo. That was the wrong thing. The wrong you thought thing. that that was just gonna stop the storm. Yeah. Oh, let me, I just I I, I I I I let me stop lying. <laughs> Yeah, God, won't you stop lying? The root. Yes, Lord. Then, I'm going to stop calling him. I'm going to let him call me. Amen. I'm going to stop calling her. I'm just going to call one time a week. <laughs> that ain't the problem. That ain't the problem. Or, it's just little stuff that we pick up. We know it ain't the problem. But what's the main problem is what we don't want to let go. Because sometimes, if you be honest, I like arguing sometimes. I like the chaos sometimes. Mm -hmm. I, 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 I like the strife sometimes. Oh, yes. And a lot of times, you say you don't like it, but you entertain it. Amen. And it begins to go on. Oh, yes. And the strife begins to get deeper and higher and higher and higher. And you wonder, why in the world? What is this? And this happening and that's happening and all of this. And why is this going on? Why is it? Because you got to throw some things out of the house. Amen. Yes, Lord. You got to examine the house. What is causing the storm in my house? Have I let the enemy come in and just take over and run my house? Or is God trying to get my attention to tell me if I throw strife out? If I get that out? If I throw this wickedness out? All of this contention, all of this strife will cease. It will cease. We're not willing to deal with the real issues. The real problems. Because we don't go down to the very root of things. We deal with the surface things where everybody else, everybody see the surface things. Mm -hmm. The surface things are seen. <laughs> Amen. We see those problems. But what's underneath? Amen. 
Remember, Jonah was down in the ship's sleep. Oh, yes. He was down in the bottom. He was the problem. He was the problem, deep down. But they were lifting up cargo on top, mm -hmm. throwing it off Good to word. lift up the load because that was the surface stuff. Uh huh. Yes, Lord. That's the same thing about us as human beings. Look at yourself as you walk. You see the surface things of the flaws. Oh, yes. You may see the flaws, mm -hmm. but what's underneath? What's in my heart? What am I carrying in my heart that's so heavy? Mm -hmm. um, let go of the other cargo, the other surface things, but what's deep down in my heart that I'm not willing to let go? Yes. That's hidden, that's causing things to, to come in my life, that's causing storms to come in my life to interfere with my life. Interfere with my marriage. Interfere with my friendship. Interfere with me being a mother. What are the things that's in my heart? Oh, yes. That I need to throw off the boat. Amen. That I need to get out the boat. Mm. I don't need it to be in the boat no more because it's weighing the boat down. See, you can't move smooth the way that you need to when you got so much cargo in the boat. Oh, yes. When you got so many problems Amen. in the boat. Oh, yes. They need to get out the boat. They need to get out the boat. Oh, yes. They didn't want to throw Jonah off. But they seen when they throw Jonah off, the storm, it the raging, it ceased. Amen. But from that experience, these men gave their life to God. Gave their life to God. Yes, Lord. It said, then the men feared mm -hmm. the Lord exceedingly and offered a sacrifice to the Lord and took vows. Took vows. They took vows. They gave themselves over to God. Oh, yes. They honored him from that day forth. They offered up a sacrifice to him. They made an oath, a covenant unto God. Mm -hmm. He became, Jonah God became their God. Amen. Yes. Because they see that what Jonah told them, what the prophet told them, if you throw me off, the storm will stop. Mm -hmm. It will cease. You, it will cease. It will be over. But you oh, got to yes. throw me into the sea. Oh, yes. But the men didn't want to. But as Jonah was on this boat, these men was getting witness to. Mm -hmm. They were seeing the hand of God at work. Oh, yes. They were seeing the mighty works of God at work. And they were seeing the faithfulness of God at work. They were seeing the love of God at work. And then now that God is studying, letting them live and see that I could have let you all went down into the sea. But since I want Jonah to learn something, mm -hmm. Jonah told them, throw me off the boat. Throw me into the sea because I'm the problem. All of this is going to cease. Amen. And it ceased like Jonah told them. Mm -hmm. That drew them to God mm -hmm. of them becoming that day of honoring God, fearing God. God is their God. Jonah, God is their God now. They honor God. They made oh, a covenant. Yes. When you make a vow, you're oh, making God. a promise. Oh, yes. You're making an oath unto God. you pledging unto God. you promising unto God that I'm going to serve you. Yes. God, this is what I'm going to do from oh, this yes. day forth. Oh, yes. The men got saved in the storm. In the storm. When they seen the hand of God. Don't you know that people are watching your life. People are watching you. People are seeing how do you stand. Mm -hmm. How did you go through that and come out of there? Amen. Amen. But when they see that you're still with God, that was God. Mm -hmm. It wasn't about me having no money. It wouldn't have been, it wasn't about where I lived and what I got and who I know. It was about God. It was about God. It was about God. See, when you just look at people, how they doing that, how they got there, it's God. It's God. It's God. Amen. When you obey God, people are able to see the hand of God in mm -hmm. your life. Yes. We want stuff, and we want people to see flashy stuff Amen. and so forth. We want them to see everything all good, but we don't want them to see any flaws. We don't want them to see anything. No, you need to see some Amen. things. Amen. Yes, Lord. Where you can know that God is faithful. Yes, Lord. You need to know some things 
where you can know that God is faithful. You need to know some things that I went through that you know that it was God that brought me out. Oh, yes. You need to know some things. You see people constantly walking. We know some people that don't went through some storms. I'm talking about some storms of serving God. But they still serving God. They still, serving they still God. being faithful to God. Oh, yes. And they study lifting up God. And they study lifting him up. Oh yes. Because they know that it's only by God. And they want to see his face one day. God, I, the, the, the storms oh, kept yes. coming. Hallelujah. God, and, and, and I, I kept going through this. And, 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 and people were going through things in their bodies. And they couldn't have gave up. Because they said, God, where are you? But they said, God, you're faithful. Amen. You're Jehovah Rapha. You are the God that oh, heals us, yes. God. God, I know who you are, God. Yes. God, I know how my bills look. I need money for my bills. But God, I trust you because you're Jehovah Jireh. Oh, yes. You already see and provide for us, oh, oh God. Yes. God, you already know everything. Hallelujah. So That's when you true. realize that we serve a faithful God, faithful and God. everything is now brought by the devil, God know how to send a storm to get your attention. Amen. Or he know how to allow a storm to get your attention. Oh, yes. Whatever God got to do with God want to save you, mm -hmm. and God want to be merciful unto oh, you, yes. you got to see, hey, I know that it's gonna, it ain't going to feel good all the time. Mm. It ain't going to feel good. Amen. It ain't going to feel good when God shake your bed for you to get up and go pray when you don't want to go pray. Yes. When you don't want to break your sleep. It's gonna, it ain't going to feel good when God said, no, get up and go study. It ain't going to feel good all the time. Mm -hmm. When God said, no, don't get on that phone. No, it ain't going to feel good all the time. When God said, don't go there. Don't do that. Don't hook up. Don't connect with them. It ain't going to feel good because you're going to feel lonely Amen. at times. Amen. But then you got to know that I'm never alone because God is always with me. You got to want God's company more than you want anybody's company. Hallelujah. He said, I'll never leave you nor forsake you. God yeah. is always there. He's always a present help. Don't you know that if you call on him first before you call on Tyrone, that God will answer the phone? Oh, yes. God will always answer you. God will always yes, let you know. Hallelujah. But we're calling on everybody else before we call on God. Oh, yes. We're calling on everybody else before we call. We're not saying, God, go before me. Amen. God, what is that? God, do I need to do this right now? God, I need an answer. God will begin to speak to you in so many ways. But it's up to you to get it. Or do you want to go across town and keep getting it from here and keep getting it from there and keep getting it from there? And you don't know why you study going through things. Mm -hmm. Why you study doing things. See, it's time to throw out the problem. Oh, yes. Are the problems oh, yes. that's causing the storm? It's time for you to throw out the problems. Yes. Are the problems that's causing the storm? Don't allow yourself to go through things that you don't have to go through serving God. Oh, yes. We serve. Jonah was on a mission. Everything was already taken care of. Mm -hmm. God said, Jonah, go to Nineveh, because their wickedness have came up unto me. Go and cry out for Nineveh. Go there. Mm -hmm. Jonah, he didn't want to go. Yeah. Stop looking at people, judging people because you don't want to say something to them because you feel like, oh, they're gangster, oh, they're wicked, they're evil, they're lesbian, they're homosexual, I don't want to say nothing to them. You got to do what God tell you to do. Amen. If God tell you to say something to them or speak something to them or just tell them that God loved them, leave it at that. Oh, yes. Just because you say, oh, he murdered that person or she did this or they did that, you cannot judge anybody because I'm finding out more and more people that sit in the pews half the time murder people every Sunday. Amen. Amen. Yes, Lord. They have more murder in their heart, jealousy, backbiting, discord, they, they, all of that. What make it so different than a person that's standing out there on the corner with two pistols in their waist and with their pants sagging? What's the difference between you and them? Amen. That's right. Because all of us need to cry out to God for God to truly save us. Yes, well, we don't be hypocrites. Well, we don't allow things to come in our life and come on our family. We cause things to come on our children. We cause our children to walk in things. You got to say, no, I'm throwing that thing off the boat. Yes, because I yes, refuse Lord. the generation of curses being know. passed down. Yes. And you, 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 you started not realizing that I got to kill this thing. Yes. I got to throw it off the boat because it's been riding on the boat too long. Yes. What's wrong with me being different? Come on now. The thing is, we don't want to break away and be different. Mm -hmm. We don't want to be like God, but we want to be like the world. 
We don't want to, look, we want the image of the world, but we don't want the image of Christ. We want to look more like the world than look like Christ. We don't want to look like that because we feel like, oh, they think I don't do nothing. I don't laugh. I don't talk. Everybody, men and women of God still laugh, still have fun, still Amen. bowl, still skate, Amen. still go on go car, all of that. But the difference is we don't have to. Get into Hallelujah. wickedness yeah. and sin to have fun. Yes, I don't got to drink no drink to have fun. Oh, yes. Because I'm already drinking a drink of life. I'm yeah. drinking living water. Yes. I don't need no alcohol. I don't need no liquor for me yeah. to feel high. I'm high off the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. So people try to deceive you of thinking that they're having fun. No, they're trying to drown out the problems that's in their heart Hallelujah. that they're dealing with. Yes. Don't be deceived by that just because somebody walking around looking like a hoochie mama and dress half naked and oh, you thinking yes. oh they gotta go oh they got some no don't be deceived by that Amen. thing hallelujah yes lord don't be deceived by that thing they're they're hiding behind the very things that's in their heart they don't even know who they are but when you're in god you should know who you are hallelujah. i'm the child of a king yes, i'm accepted lord. in the beloved hallelujah. i'm perfectly and wonderfully yes, made lord. i am who god say i am i can do what god say i can yes, do lord. i can go where god say i can go hallelujah. so you gotta realize who you are in God. I don't want to be in like the image of the world. I want to the image of Christ. Image of Christ. Where you know that there's a difference, that there's a distinguish, and that I'm gonna walk circumspectly. I'm gonna walk the way God say I can walk, where I'm walking carefully, where I don't step on anybody else, where they will know that God live in me. Yeah. That I'm showing God they love. I'm trying to show you and I'm trying to tell you what God did for me, that he can do it for you. Yes. If God drew me and God saved me, God can do the same oh, thing for yes. you. But you gotta want it for yourself. Hallelujah. Yes. You gotta stop hiding behind these masks and pulling these covers over you and trying to hide behind Mac and Cover Girl and these suits and Stacey Adams and your shades and all oh, of that. Yes. You gotta pull that stuff out. Sometimes you gotta, hey, sometimes you gotta take your hair out of your head, pull your wig off, and, and, and get in front of the mirror and say, this is who I am. Hallelujah. And I know who I am because God, you formed me. Oh, yes. You made me. Oh, I know yes. that I'm fearfully and wonderfully made. Amen. And God, whatever's in me, God, show me me so that I can pull it up out of me. God, that you can get it up out of me, that you can burn it up out the roof because I don't want to be like this no more. Yeah. So whatever hidden thing, whatever hidden thing. whatever's hidden in the inside, Pluck it up out of me. Yes. When you say, God, how do I be kind? God, how can I stop being hateful? Be kind. Mm -hmm. God said, just walk in kindness. Oh, God, how can I just stop being so angry? Stop being angry. All you got to do is just change whatever it is that you are. You say, you know what? How do I, how do I be nice? Be nice. How do I be gentle? Be gentle. God, how do I just show love? Walk in love. Oh, yes. Because all of this hang all the law. Love. We got the first walk in love. We need the love of God in oh, our yes. hearts. Man. Yes, Lord. Yes. We need God's love. When you say God live in you, love live in you. So people should know that you love no matter what race you are, how you look and what you drive, how you dress. It don't matter about that because God's love. Yes. Would draw people. Oh, yes. But they got a sense. They, 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 they don't need all of this. Stuff that we're carrying. Yes, Lord. And, it, and it's rushing out. They don't need that. They need godly love that I gotta examine my heart and I gotta pluck out everything out of my heart that's not like God. I need it out of my heart so that I can be different, so that my children can see different, so that they can walk up different, oh, yeah. so that my marriage can be different, that my family can be different. We we don't want God the way we say we want God. Oh yes. We don't wanna do, we don't wanna examine ourselves. And we don't really want to be real because we don't want people to know that that's really me. Mm -hmm. That I'm really the cause Amen. of a whole lot of things yes, in my life. A whole lot of commotion and chaos. Oh, yes. Because the flesh can be used to it. That's the reason why it try to fight against the spirit so hard where you can't be free. But then you have to say, I know what it is. I know that this thing is stopping me. And this thing is causing me to be stuck. Because when you carry things, it causes you to be stuck. You wondering, 
I haven't grown the way that I need to grow. I haven't stopped doing the things that I need to do. What is it that's causing these storms? That's when you go and you look. I got to get this out of my heart. I got to throw it out the boat. Because it's stopping me. Yes, so you know those problems. Oh, yes. And if you don't know all those problems, you ask God to show you. And God will begin to show you, even though, like I say, a lot of stuff we know. God only got to tell us. Amen. We already know. Our everyday life, we already know. Yes, Lord. That stuff that we need to get rid of. And we need to say, God, I need your help to help me get rid of it oh, so yes. that I can be different and that I can walk according to your word. We got to fall more in love with God. We haven't got to that point where we have fallen more in love with God so that godly love can be demonstrated and people can experience it. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Wonderful word. Amen. Don't off the boat. Amen. What needs to be thrown off. Amen. Wonderful word. Amen. By Lady Ellis. Amen. Saints of God, I want you to get your mind.